Okay, so welcome to part two, solving the 17 December mechanical department. The metal paper. So now we'll question two. So the first question is take the triangle, the triangle forces law. Number two, so the figure below is in equilibrium. Determine the magnitude of the equations in members A and what and B. So let's start with the first one. What is triangle of forces law? So, so this triangle of forces law states that if two concurrent forces are acting simultaneously at a point given in an order of magnitude and direction, meaning the third side of the triangle will be the what? Will be the resultant. So if two, two or more, or more concurrent So this 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 triangle of forces law states that if two or more concurrent forces are acting simultaneously at a point, given an order of magnitude and direction, the third side of the triangle can be said to be their resultant in an opposite order. Okay? So now let's go to question number B. So let's do B. So B. Okay? Okay. So for B, so for B, what is happening is so here on B. The first thing you do, you need to drop this angle down here. So the first thing you, you need to do is to drop this angle down here. How do you drop this angle down here? So meaning you extend this x-axis here. Then now you form a z, you say, like this. So meaning this part will wear here, alternating angles. So meaning the diagram here will be like this. Well, something like this. Something like this, then now this angle here. Okay? So this is the angle of 40 degrees. Okay? Then here we have this weight down here on 750 newtons. Okay? Then here we have this is B. This one will be here. And this one here will what? This one will what? This one will be A here. Okay? So mean the forces will be like this. Meaning these forces will be in this form here. So here, what do we do first? We need to find the angle opposed to this 750 newton. So we need to find the angle opposed to this given weight. This given weight. So how do we find the angle? Which angle is opposed to this given weight? So you can see that the angle opposed to this given weight is this angle here. The angle of this angle here. So the angle opposed to this given weight is this angle here. How do you find this angle here? So it will be 180 minus 4, which is what? 1.4 degrees, we are done. So the next thing we need to 
find the angle opposed to B. Which angle is opposed to B? Which angle? So the angle opposed to B in this case is what? This angle here. So which is what? 90 degrees. So the next thing we need to do is to find the angle which is opposed to A. So which angle is opposed to A in this case? So the angle opposed to A in this case is the whole of this angle. Right? So how do you find the whole of this angle? Say 40 plus what? 90. Which is what? 180 degrees. So the moment you do this, just know that you have done the equation. So now let's find, which one should we find first? Okay, let's find A. So to find A, you get the complete side, so say 750 newtons over the angle opposite. So this, this method we call Shamit theorem. So we get the angle opposite to go at it, side 140 is equal to you choose. Which one should you find first to say A? It will be A over the angle opposed to A, which is what? Sin 180 over sin 180. Then you can do the cross multiplication to say there will be A sin 140 is equal to 750 multiplied by sin, sin 180. 180 over Sine 180, 1 foot over sine 140. So meaning here A is equal to what? 750 multiplied by sine 180. Over. Okay, so what's the answer here? A is equal to what? What's the answer? 893.8. Okay. So we have found what? A. So we have found what? A. So now the next thing is to find what? B. B. How do we find B? How do we find B? How do we find B here? So we so for B here. How do we find B? I'm getting the angle which is opposite B. So here. So, so the first thing you get this complete side, always get this complete side because you have a force and also a body. In angle, so we say 750 divided by what is the opposite angle? Sin 140. B equals to B over what is the opposite angle to B? Sin 90. Sin 90. Where you can do cross multiplication, it will be B sin 140 is equal to what? 750 multiplied by sin 90. So both sides divided by what? Sine 140 over what? Sine 140. So what is the answer here? B? 1166.8 Newton. 1000. You know, just the 1000, mm -hmm. comma. Mm -hmm. This is uh, not the zero. Mm -hmm. So 1000, comma. Mm -hmm. 166. Mm -hmm. Point. 166. Point. 8 newtons. Point 8 newtons, right? Yes. So this would be. So these are the sort of questions where they come in this manner. So see you in the next video when we are solving question number three.